morning guys, I hope you are having a lovely and fabulous day so far. As you all know, I am back in school. And with that being said, day to day life is pretty busy, it's chaotic, it's overwhelming, and cooking is the last thing on my mind. Food prepping is so essential. It saves so much time for me and that's why I make it a point to do it every single week. So I'm gonna take you guys along, I'm gonna make food for the next four days. It's gonna be super easy, it's gonna be tasty, and it's gonna be fun. I hope you enjoy. Here we are guys in the kitchen where it's all going to go down. We have hands set up with the tin foil. I have two bowls that I'll be using. Some gloves to protect my hands. I have a wok pot here with the lid and a spatula. Before I get started, what I love to do is set up everything. I take all the ingredients out that I'll be needing. Any spoons, any knives, any measuring cups. Because I like to have it all laid out. I like to be organized so I'm not looking through the cabinets trying to find what exactly I need. So I prepare it all ahead of time so that cooking is so much smoother and also so you're saving even more time. As soon as you finish one thing, you just move on to the next. Without further ado, we are going to get cooking with meal number one. rundown of what I exactly did. In four mini Tupperwares, I measured out half a cup of oats. So now all I have to do is cook that on the stove and it will be all set to go. Then in those little Ziploc bags, what you saw me putting together was a mixture of a bunch of things. First was a scoop of protein powder. The flavor of that was cookies and cream. Then I put in two tablespoons of peanut butter powder to give it an extra little flavor. And then lastly, I sprinkled in some ground cinnamon. What I do is once the oatmeal is cooked, I open up that Ziploc bag and I pour all of that mixture together and it just tastes amazing. So that is all set to go. I don't have to worry about breakfast. Moving on to meal number two. <laughs> This meal is going to consist of some brown rice, some ground turkey, onions, scallions, and then cooked zucchini in the oven. It's going to taste amazing. complete and ready to get put in the oven. Toss in some olive oil, a little bit of pepper, and last but not least some garlic powder. Now that's my preference. Those are the seasonings that I like on it, but feel free guys, look in your pantry. Whatever you think would taste good or whatever you prefer on it, go for it and put it on. Oven is going to be set at 400 degrees and I'm going to be cooking it for roughly 25 to 30 minutes, but remember, every oven's different, so don't go exactly by my time. Also test it out, see how how soft do you want it or do you want more on the crispier side? turkey is cooking so time to get the brown rice on the stove. I'll be making three-fourths of a cup and that is going to require a cup and a half of water. Here we have the zucchini fresh out of the oven. Looks so good. Ground turkey is also all done. The brown rice is just about done. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. We are on the home stretch, guys. Moving on to the last meal we'll be making. It's going to consist of some ahi tuna that I picked up fresh from ShopRite that I'm going to portion into four days. And that is going to be paired with some fresh cauliflower I'm going to cut up. And I'm going to mix that with some arugula and scallions. I'm going to cook that in the oven. And that's going to conclude everything. So is going to be prepared pretty similar to the zucchini. So I have the scallions at the bottom and I'm going to add in some pepper, a little bit of olive oil, give this a good little toss and then stick this in the oven. Oven 
is at 400 degrees, gonna do between 25 to 30 minutes. Let's move on to cooking our tuna. It smells very seafoody in this house. We're gonna go really simple with seasoning this tuna. Olive oil, pepper, and a pinch of salt. The best thing about tuna is that it cooks so quickly. I'm gonna do it on the grill, and it literally requires like one to two minutes on each side. You just wanna sear it. Cauliflower check. Tuna check. We're all done. Now for the fun part, putting it into the Tupperware. the ground turkey meal with this roasted bell peppers that I cut up right here. I'm going to just simply sprinkle it on top of this meal. And that's a wrap guys. Have all the food made. It can go in the fridge and this week is going to go so smoothly. In my room right now, it's time to buckle down and get some studying in. I have a test coming up and I really need to dedicate a couple hours right now to reviewing. I've been doing very well. I'm proud of myself. I've been studying non-stop these past three days and I really feel like I'm retaining the information but I want to just continue reviewing, making sure it's sticking in my brain and that I'm really comprehending everything and understanding it. This test is going to be covering the muscular skeletal system, digestive, and GI. A lot going on, a lot of terminology, a lot of medications to know. Wish me luck. Actually studying real hard right now. I told her I'm heading home to get something real quick, but I'm going to Chipotle to surprise her with some food because I know she's probably hungry. She's been working real hard. She meal prepped. So let's go. Hey, what's cheese in there. So okay, good. So you have double chicken. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. You have guac and brown rice and lettuce. Mr. Beggar Giovanni is sitting right by my feet. You want the chipotle. It's pretty hot. Don't put it on like it. Just finished eating my chicken chipotle bowl and it was delicious, but I'm also very, very stuffed right now, so I'm gonna digest and then take my butt off to the gym for a workout.
Back at home feeling super energized from the workout. Not gonna lie though, my shoulders were on fire. They were burning throughout the entire training session. But what I wanna tell you guys is when you're working out, when you're training and you feel tired and you're like, I can't push it no more, Give the extra effort, dig deep, fight past those feelings. Most of the time you're capable of getting a few more reps in. Usually your mind's telling you you're tired, just stop, and it's easy to give in to that. But the key to success, the key to seeing change, the key to seeing results is you gotta fight and you can't give up just when it gets difficult. You gotta push past that barrier that's standing in front of you. Now that I'm back home, I'm gonna cook myself a post-workout meal. Here we have quinoa, two cans of tuna fish, some arugula, a bunch of scallions, and last but not least, some roasted bell peppers. 